The MX 991 angle head flashlight is something I've already talked about quite a bit on my channel because it's something that I like quite a bit. In case the sheer number I have on the desk right now isn't a dead giveaway. I got a bunch of different ones of these now. I have the old Bright Star I showed in a couple of my previous videos. This one's one of my more recent finds. This one's a GT Price I found at an Army Navy surplus store here locally. And then my most recent one would be this one right here. This one's a Fulton and that awesome ACU digital camouflage finish. And all of these are running that awesome TTS LED upgrade, which I think is every bit of the 220 lumens that they advertise in their eBay store where they sell these. And I might link to this upgrade again in the description just because it's that awesome. And if you have one of these flashlights, I think you should get it. But we're not talking about that today. We are talking about batteries. And the Rayovac batteries I used in these lights for the first couple of years that I was collecting them. And like a lot of people probably do, I was just getting the Rayovacs because they were a little bit cheaper. An 8-pack of Rayovac D batteries was about $8 or $8.50 or something like that. Where an 8-pack of Energizer D batteries was more like $10 or $11. So I figured they're all the same, right? I'll just get the Rayovacs and save a couple of bucks. But the other day I noticed a difference in these two brands of batteries. A difference that I think makes the price difference worth it, and I'm going to show you what it is. The other day, one of my Fultons, one of my MX991s, in fact, I think it was that black one on the end over there, was almost dead. It needed new batteries. The two Rayovac batteries that were in it at the time were almost dead, and all I had laying around to replace them was a partly empty 8-pack of Energizer D batteries. I got a couple of Energizer batteries out of that pack. You got them side by side with the Rayovacs and notice something that to me is interesting but to everybody else might make me look like the biggest nerd geek you've ever seen. Oh well. I'm going to line up the bottoms of those batteries. And I'm going to get the tops, the positive ends, close up here. Now is it just my imagination? Or is that Energizer battery just ever so slightly taller than the Rayovac? Huh. Now, if you've seen... I want to say it was the first video I did about the MX991 flashlight. I mentioned how much they flicker. How much the batteries rattle around, making the light flicker. Sometimes for seemingly no reason. You would have the light standing in one place and it would flicker seemingly all on its own. There wasn't anything or anybody in contact with it moving it around to make it flicker. It would just do it by itself like it was freaking possessed or something. So at the time I was using Rayovac batteries and in that video I mentioned how you could put a little bit of masking tape around the ends of the batteries to hold, the, hold them more uh, securely, snugly in place. That was the redneck solution, you know. Whatever, if, if it's stupid but it works, it ain't stupid, I'm all right. Whatever. Since I put those two Energizer D batteries into that black one, it doesn't flicker. You know, I can shake this all around. Like any flashlight, if you hit it this way on the tail cap, you can get it to flicker, you can get it to go out for just a split second. But a lot of flashlights do that. There's a lot of mag lights that do that. And right off the top of my head, I can't think of a flashlight that doesn't do that if you smack it hard enough on the tail cap. I'm talking about the side-to-side -side play that a lot of these would have. And you can hear it. The batteries still do rattle around a little bit in this. But then again, so did the Rayovacs. But since I started using the Energizers, it does not flicker. And now, not all of these that I have on the table right now have batteries in them. But the ones that do are running Energizer batteries now. I'm not going to use Rayovacs in these anymore. 
for that reason. Because it's been the same case with each and every one of them. Every one of them that I've put Energizer batteries in instead of Rayobacks, they just don't flicker anymore. So that seems to have pretty much fixed the problem for all of them. Except for the old Bright Star, which I've shown in a couple of videos. And this compared to, say, a GT Price or a Fulton has such a weak battery spring compared to them that no matter what brand of battery you use, they just they rattle around like crazy. So, at the moment, I don't know just what to do to help the Bright Star. Maybe I'll think of something. But for the others, for a GT Price or a Fulton, it just seems to be as simple as switching brands of batteries. And I'm sure you know in other flashlights and mag lights or whatever, ray of axe will still work fine. But in the case of the Fulton, the MX991 angle head flashlight specifically, Energizer seems to be the way to go. That little bit of extra height is going to mean a little bit more space taken up in the battery compartment, which is going to mean a little bit more tension on the tail cap spring. And that means the batteries have less room to move around and rattle around and cause that flickering I was talking about. At least that's what my case has been. That seems to have all but fixed the problem as far as flickering goes. And that is all I have got to say about that. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you next time. Peace. Okay, and one more thing I forgot to mention before I stopped recording was the Rayovac batteries seem to be slightly rounded on the negative end. And you can see how these want to these wanna wobble a little bit. And then these can even spin freely standing in one spot. And I'll put the Energizer on that same spot on the desk just to be sure. These seem more flat on the negative end. And they don't want to spin like the Rayovacs do. So I wonder, was the apparently shorter height of these batteries plus them being more rounded on the ends? Wonder was it a combination of those two, those two differences that were making the lights flicker like they were while I was using Rayovac batteries in them? So just a thought, just one more detail I forgot to mention. This time I'm really gone. I am done recording. And I hope to see you in the next video.